Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, managed to get uh, Dendrobium harveyanum out to join the yellowness. Um, this, quite honestly, is an old favourite. An awful lot of people really like these blooms. It's the fact that the lip and the petals are frilly, which is a, a little more unusual. Quite a few things have frilly lips, but to get both, let's get around here and see if the light's a bit better. So we've got one of these dull days today. It's been raining most of the day so far. Very attractive, and hopefully this plant is starting to pick up now. Um, need new growth at the base, that's what I really need. But it's been repotted, and um, it's pushing out quite a lot of spikes actually at the moment. There's the couple that are out at the moment. There's another one coming out here. Another one forcing its way out here. So it's having a little flurry again. Um, when this was in its heyday the year before last, it was in flower from about April through to October. It was in bloom virtually all of the growing season. Not the same spikes obviously. <laughs> they came and went, but just one after the other. Sometimes two or three at a time. So it's quite a performer that one, or it was. But what I picked the camera up for is I'm not going to get the plant out. I'm going to zoom in on it, which probably means with this camera it might go out of focus. But um, yeah, I can see it's out of focus already. I'll have to, I'll have to hold the camera and try and lean in through the uh, jungle of canes to get a bit closer. These are not large blooms, so it will be difficult to to get that close anyway. But I can get, I can probably get better than than we had before. No, you're just not going to focus, are you? It's just low light today. It's not going to have it, is it? Something like that. Anyway, my first Disa bloom that I've bloomed myself. I mean, the, the plant was in bloom when I got it, and there were some unopened buds, but they don't count. Somebody else grew those. But these are my first ever Disa blooms. So a first, in two ways, first ever Disa, as in the genus, and um, first bloom I've grown myself. So I'm quite pleased with that. There's um, quite a few more to come. Um, there's another two, three spikes at least, possibly four. Uh, yes, definitely four. I can see another one starting. And um, the other two up the back there have quite a lot of buds on, looking at them. Those were the larger plants up the back, um, whereas these were the medium-sized plants, and these were the little community part of the small plants, although they're growing like... Uh, going like crazy. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm pleased to see that. Um, I will, as these buds progress and a few more open, I'll actually get a, one of the pots out so that we can see them a bit better. But uh, yeah, first ever Disa. Smashing. Well, the spike on this van is starting to push now. Um, strange how they just sit there as a nubbin for some time and then they, they, they just start to move after a period and then they seem to grow at quite a fast rate after that. That's the one that has the very many bright orange blooms, although they're not very big, but it makes up for it in weight of numbers. So that's to come soon. And the spike on the other vanda is getting to the point now where I think I'm going to have to get the clothes pegs out and weigh it down and see if I can get that ant while I'm up there. <laughs> oh dear. I have a, that's the first ant I've seen today, so their numbers are dropping right off now, so I think the job I did outside has probably worked. But yes, um, that spike, if left to its own devices, will hit the roof within a few days. Um, so I'm going to do what I did last time and put a couple of clothes pegs on it to make it arch, and then it will grow out horizontal. And um, if I do that before the buds start to form, the blooms will still be the right way up along the along the spike, so uh, I may do that before I put it back up today. Um, I'm, I'm just in the middle of watering the vandas, that's, that's all that's left to do today. And I was going to get all the plants in and film them ready for this giveaway, but um, it's a lot of bending and twisting and mucking around doing that, so I might have to wait a day or two which I don't want to do, I want to get on with it now, I've said I'm going to do it, but you know, I'm, I'm not setting my back back. It, it seems to be improving on a daily basis, it seems silly to push it backwards again, so I'm going to just hold off for it till it feels okay, if you know what I mean. Um, 
Right, so that will do for today, just a quick one, just a few things to look at. And um, this second spike on this one's coming out now, um, so that's, uh, that's going to continue because this one will drop soon, they don't last long. And then this one at least will take its place, so that will be out for another week and a half, maybe two weeks. And um, the Naive M is lasting incredibly well. Um, I just don't remember how long lasting these blooms are. But with four spikes on it, that's that's looking really good at the moment, really good. And um, yeah, um, I don't need to repot that. That one's yeah, that hasn't long been repotted. So although this is blooming on immature growth, they're not fully matured. Although they've got their leaves up to the right sort of um, size, but the pseudo bulbs haven't fully swollen yet. So it's got a bit more work to do on those. And then there should be another lot of new growth following on from there, ready for next time. It um, seems to be growing quite well, that one. Not bad at all. So uh, yeah, see you next time.